Design Build Landscaping is really about taking the time to develop a plan and get that worked into your project so that you're able to understand budget, timing, and production. A swimming pool takes quite a bit of effort and, and it doesn't really run like a landscape project. So the sooner that you can get that started, the better. So a perfect example would be this fall, you would want a target to try and get your shell of your pool in this year. So if we want to swim in 19, 18 is the time to start your design process. Welcome back to Hire It Done, folks. My name's Adam Helfman. You're listening to 97 Won the Ticket. It's Labor Day weekend signifies a new start, kids back to school, you know, but for home improvement industry, it's the fall checklist, it's the fall projects. You know uh, what the first year for Labor Day was? Ooh, good question. What is it? 1882. 18? Grover, President Grover Cleveland he signed, that, Labor Day. signed that bill yep, to protect workers in the unions as well as shorten the workday. Okay. I'm and, all about that. Yeah. Thank you, Grover Cleveland, for that holiday. To me, it signifies barbecue ribs, hot dogs. Right on. Me barbecue, too. Barbecue, right? <laughs> Food. I'm just talking about what they used to do. <laughs> yeah. So for everyone out there in uh, home improvement land, we still have Mike Beatty uh, from Rapid Roofing in studio. Welcome back, Mike. Howdy. Uh, Mike uh, is a pre-screen hired done contractor. And now we have Jared Baumer from Fresh Cut Landscaping, another hired done contractor. Good morning, Jay Baum. What's up, brother? So we call Jared J Bomb. That's his email. That's his nickname. So we're going to call him J Bomb today. Is that okay? Yeah. So uh, introduce yourself again to the uh, Hire It Done audience. Jared Bomber, uh, Fresh Cut Lawn and Landscape, Shelby Township, Michigan. And uh, getting my Labor Day weekend rolling with you. So uh, you've been with Hire It Done quite a bit. Yeah. How was your year? Good. Were you busy? Solid. Yes. What was your number one thing or project or problem? What was your number one problem this year that could have labor? Prevent, oh, there it is. Labor day. Labor. Labor. <laughs> good labor, right? Yeah. It's amazing to me. But you know what? Listen, that's why the good contractors are busy. They're, they're solid. And if they could get more business, they would if they had more labor. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. And it, it's the, no matter what business you're in, you're in the people business. So, you know, keep the people that work for you, they keep you the people you work for. Sure. It's, it's, it's a balance. I agree. I agree. So uh, what, you're from Shelby Township, your business, but you do work all over Metro Detroit, right? Correct. So if someone from Western Wayne County needs you, you're going to, depending on the project, you'll go out there? I'm ha- I'll, I'll go and look at any project anywhere. Okay, that makes sense. You guys are pretty, have a pretty good reach, which is important. Yeah. Um, Mike Beatty from Rapid Roofing. So, Mike, what about your reach? Because if someone texted in, does Rapid Roof only service Western Wayne? Who's similar in qualifications in Gross Point? You guys do work in Gross Point. Oh, we've done a lot of projects in Gross Point. Some really beautiful uh, synthetic slate, slate projects, uh, asphalt. If someone wants to call Rapid, what's the phone number? 888-360-7663. 888-360-ROOF. Yes. You know how I know 7663 spells roof? Because <laughs> <laughs> every roofer I know has roof in their number. <laughs> That's okay. It makes sense, right? Yeah. A vanity number is important. We have 877. We've had ours for 20 years, though. Really? Yeah. Ooh, good job. <laughs> we know we just got 877 Hire It Done. Come on. I did. Legit. Legit. And then voicemails me. Hey, it's Adam Huffman <laughs> for, for Complaints Hit Zero. <laughs> you should do like they do on NPR where you, where you have people call in and do a giveaway where you do their voicemail on their phone for them. Really? Yeah. Oh, my God. We'll talk about that after. I love that yeah. idea. Yeah. We have a lot of stuff coming up. It's it's really good. You know, we just launched, you know, national show. I don't know if you know that. You guys know that, I right? do know that. We're in 28 markets already. Nice. It's, in fact, the national show's going on right now. We pre-record that. But I love live local. I love this. I'm never giving this up. It's the best. Right on. So, Jared, yes. you do landscaping. Have you had to go after, or at homeowners call you, I just had a roof done and they trashed my yard. It's been a while, but we, yeah, I remember one specifically. It's funny that, that Mike said uh, Jap Maple because it got split <laughs> right down the middle. And I think it was more than a shingle falling off. I'm not sure if it was a dude or a ladder or what, but. Can you just tape it, like use duct tape and put it back together or is it dead? Yeah. You got to call the tree doctor. The tree surgeon. Oh, that's the guy, right? Yeah, There's that's a guy. The tree surgeon. Yeah. I have okay. a guy who works for me in Detroit. His name is the house doctor. Nice. He's like, I'm the house doctor. I'm like, oh, I love this guy. He does siding, gutters, and roofing with me. That's He's awesome. The house doctor. I'd make him wear a lab coat when he gets out of the car. I don't know if they make one big enough. 
Okay, so what's popular in landscaping? I resemble that remark. Me what? too. <laughs> <laughs> what's popular? Yeah. Uh, me. Of course. The, the homeowners mean, love Jared. That's if, the truth. If there's one thing that you should be striving for as a homeowner right now is to figure out how to get one of those job site signs with our name on it in your front yard. It's a rite of passage. No, it's uh, all kinds of stuff right now. I mean, if if you're looking at doing uh, any kind of planning for a gra- graduation party, a wedding, a big event, or just simply want to have a backyard retreat, get in line. Get okay. it going now. Let's talk about that really quick. So we talked to Mike from Rabbit Roofing. Mike, you said... For roofing, just roofing, two to three weeks out. But if you want to do a big landscape project. Buckle up. You've got to talk about making the decision now and getting in line for next year. Yeah. Am I, am I correct by yep. saying that? It's, I mean, depending on the, the caliper of work, we kind of have, you know, that we, we run several crews, so there's several different levels of work that we're able to do. And I'm not saying that we we, we don't want that work or, or you know, what have you, but you the, the schedule is really... The well, other under pain of our existence delivery. besides labor would be that schedule. Well, you you have a lot of things that that impact your schedule besides labor. Well, number right. one is root is uh, weather. Weather, yeah. You get three four days of rain. It's like seven days because the extra days after you have to let it dry out. You can't go on it with a bobcat. And you'll ruin everything. Right. So let's break this down into a few things. Let's talk about projects that people can still get done this year if there are. Sure. Are there? Well, yeah. One of the things I wanted to talk about, a lot about today is outdoor kitchen. Or if you have an existing patio and I can come in and do some sort of barbecue related Built thing, type yeah, of thing. Mm. you know, she shed space, man space, you name it. Like I want to have you sacrificing me to the gods this, this fall. Hold on. She shed. Yeah, that's right. A she shed. Yeah. Like man cave, but she shed. Yeah. I want a she shed. What's that? Easy killer. All right. So <laughs> you get a shed and you put stuff in it. For she. It relates to things that you want to do. I have a, gr- a group of ladies that uh, put one together that it's they it's like a little wine mm-hmm. shack, right? And it you should see the a inside. wine shack outdoor like yeah. a wine shack for yeah. the girls. Yeah, so you take to... a, take like a tough shed or one of those items and you you lay it out to you be, shush it. You shush you, it you up. Sh- you shush it up, <laughs> and then next thing you know, boom! Everybody's hanging out inside of that little room, and you can do you know there's no shape or size, but. Leading up to that is where we come in with all of our design and having some sort of outbuilding like that is a big deal. They're I cool. want to do a she shed giveaway. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> he it said can she co- literally can come on a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said she shed. <laughs> See that? It's oh on my fire. God, I want that. Yeah. Right. Right. We're gonna do a whole promotion. You put a hot tub in there. You can put, <clears throat> you know, an art studio, cut glass. You name it. Super fun. This is getting out of control. Yeah. I was thinking about maybe, uh, what is it? I'm trying to think what they call it. You know, the binders, what they put the little, not the stickers, but the uh, whatever. We'll talk about it. <laughs> 97136, folks, text us if you got a question for landscaping, what projects you got need help on, or if you need roofing or anything like that. We're here in studio live. Um, we got Jared Bommert from Fresh Cut. What is, what's the uh, website where people want to talk to? www. For- freshcutlandscape.com. And then the phone number? 586-739-6646. And of course, folks, you can always just go to hireitdone.com right and uh, we'll get you in touch with them. And right I, you know what? To, just to speak to that quick, I love that process because when their information comes in, they're vetted, we're vetted, everything's spelled correctly. It's an easy lead to process. I, 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 that's probably my favorite thing about Hire It Done is the preparation that you do before I get that lead is superior. I Love appreciate it. that compliment, and thank Love you, it. by the way, because here's what, there's a little science behind this. Like, <laughs> yeah, right, right. So the science behind that is we go for the homeowners that are ready, not the ones that are like, oh, I'm thinking about it, you know, bored. Let me get the window guy to my house for some entertainment on a Wednesday night. You know what I'm saying? We tell them to call the guys from TV. You want half off roofing? You want half off this or that? You want a discount? Go to those guys. When you're serious, you want it done right. Go to hire it done. And it keeps me in check, too. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a human being. We're not, not perfect. Well, so having course. your team in place, my team in place, and everybody working together, you well, get a better the customer experience. The Hire It Done team follows up behind you. So once you're there, they get from us contacted. Hey, Mrs. Jones, Fresh Cut was out at your house. A couple questions. Did they show up on time? Did they answer what? all your questions? Wait, I didn't know you asked them that. What do you mean? You didn't know, Jared? <laughs> <laughs> Should Thank I share God. your reviews, Jared? Are, are you on the trying air? to say that I may <laughs> lean on that part of the service a little bit? No, no, it's important because homeowners have, again, what are the two fears homeowners have in home improvement? They're going to get ripped off and they're going to overpay. 
almost similar, but different. We get rid of that fear by the pre-screening and the third-party endorsement, which is us. So we're the homeowner's best friend. We ensure that you do what you're supposed to do, and that's it. Keep it simple. And that's the differentiator. If every contractor is good, Hire Done would not exist, right? Correct. So with that being said, that's why we're killing it right now. <laughs> because there's only a handful of good contractors. I need more contractors, but that's where we're at. All right, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, I want to talk about good landscape designs and the project that you and I visited, which was amazing. I'm Adam Healthman. You're listening to the Hire Done Radio Network on 97. the ticket. <laughs> By the way, we were live when you guys said that. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Sweet. We are having a blast in the studio today. Oh, uh, that was funny. Jared yes, sir. Bomber from Fresh Cut. Welcome back. Thank you, sir. Mike Beattie. Nice Rapid to be Rupert. here. How are you doing? We're awesome. So, you know, it's Labor Day weekend. What are, you know, outdoor kitchens, basically? Yes. Can do it. Can someone call you and get a kitchen done before Halloween? Sure. Absolutely. I want to put a fireplace in. Let's do it. You know, obviously... We we're limited in time, but we visited a job in, I think it was Rochester Hills. Correct. Recently, we did a nice video with you, and they had a pool, a waterfall, a water feature, a, another pond that you put rocks in. It was really cool. Yeah, a pondless waterfall. Yeah, a pondless yep. water, a portico, like a, a covered backyard. Like you did um, like seven, eight projects there, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was so a, it was a long term project. It was phased. Beige one was the front yard. Yep. And, and the big thing that happened there is that they were able to get everything they wanted without compromise because they had a good plan in place. Right. Not just our plan, but just the whole concept of getting, you know, a, a plan to begin with and then put it all together. And step by step, bite by bite, we nailed it. And it, so, I, I am so proud of that one. Listen, I was super impressed. So um, you just made up a word. There's no such word as differentiator. Okay. Hired done, add differentiator to the hired done vocabulary. Schmutz, scuts. How about my made up word, gription? Gription. These pavers have gription. That's my made up word. Well, I love I like gription. That. Yeah, gription. You, got, you have any made up words? I bet no, you, I want you, to, I want, you I, When you were on the roof, I'm you jealous. Would, you would want gripption. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As opposed to <laughs> this roof off. needs more gription. Gription would come in handy. A, a she shed might be. By a schmutz. Right? It might be. She Shed probably stole the show today. That was, I didn't see that one coming. I'm a She Shed lover right now. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get uh, me a She Shed. In fact, I'm going out tonight. Um, shout out to a longtime friend of mine, Marlo uh, Bashir. What's up? It's, anyways, um, so getting an outdoor fireplace is not hard to do, but you had one there that was like it had pieces of glass in it. Yeah, so that, that was a fire pit, but it. Oh, it's not? Okay, fire pit. Yeah, Gas-fired fire I just want to cook a hot dog on a stick. I want to do some s'mores. I want to do all that stuff. Well, the glass is expensive, so as long as you don't goober it up by dripping in there, you can you can cook anything you want. It's just a, you know, it's a gas flame. Um, yeah, that one was that one was cool. That It had really nice height. It had a great area to be able to uh, sit around in ample room for a chair in there as well as you could park your butt in my seating wall. So it was, it's... I love that. It's super cool. Right, and that... The best part about that is um, the covered, the whole covered back if, patio. If you build it, they will come. That place is, and right? since we've done that, like it, we're doing some work nearby, and to watch all the kids and all, all the people there, right? come, and, and it's ramped way up, and it's just, I am so happy with that whole deal. So um, Shout out to, to Cherie Clough. That's that's their project that we're talking about. It was, the, the homeowners are super nice. Oh, the best. Right? Mm -hmm. So what about outdoor TVs? Have you ever done like a hang? Yep. And it, it, do they make special TVs for outdoors? They do, and they're a bit spendy. And we found that you can kind of do it on a budget or you can get carried away like anything else. Well, so here's what my theory on that is. TVs today, the flat screens, Walmart, Target, Costco, Sam's Club, right? They're throwaways. Three, four hundred bucks. Yeah. Hang it on the wall. Get a 50 inch for 300 bucks, right? Yeah. Do the best, beat it up, and then when it breaks, throw it out and get another I, I, one. I, we did a patio for a buddy of mine, Chris, and and it it I think this is year four, and uh, he bought a good cover, and it's just a middle of the road TV, and you can put a lot of TVs in for the cost of one of the true outdoors, and I'm not knocking any. What's what's the price difference on those? For example, two three times the amount, or yeah. So yeah. let's say if you were if you were somewhere between five and seven hundred bucks for a mm -hmm. good like. 4K TV now, you yeah, know, 50 inch, whatever. You're talking three thirty six, 
Uh, and, for I a mean, true it, outdoor you can TV. actually get them wet and stuff, though. I, yeah, ale- I mean, allegedly, it's yeah. it's they're more weather resistant, and the I, you can drop it well, in the pool and pick the it up. Thing that we've, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> hey, Adam's it's using it for a little uh, floater tray in his pool, <laughs> right? right? It's a raft. <laughs> <laughs> but they they are the big value in that and not because I don't want to take away from that model and that market is that the sun screen system that that comes with it is so for glare that's oh. really what you're getting so it depends on a lot of our stuff is underneath cover mm-hmm. that we do and, and it's much more popular now like he was just talking about fireplaces to actually do a fireplace and then mount your TV above it does make a big difference yeah. some of our a couple of our drones have uh the sun resistant for the UV, mm-hmm. um, and you can really tell a difference on those when you're looking at them in direct sunlight compared yeah. to a like an iPhone or something. Real quickly, drones. Yeah. So drones are the one of the fastest growing trends in the home improvement business, being used for getting a picture of the roof. In, oh, you know, yeah. Instead of climbing up and risking breaking your neck, you can use a drone. Getting a, a, a topo- aerial topography photo from the from a landscape oh, real perspective, estate, landscape bidding, huge. all kinds of stuff. So uh, Rapid uses a drone. Attacking hornets. Yes, we have uh, all of our um, consultants have drones. So they come out to the house and like, do you have to get permission from the homeowner to get the drone? Well, we typically let them know that we're gonna uh, have a drone over their home, but That's really, so cool. Mm-hmm. All your guys have a. And here's me thinking I'm cool with an iPad. Guy, guy, Salesforce has a drone. Mm-hmm. Listen, one of the things that's unbelievable about Rapid is they're fourth, like they're leading, right? They're proactive. So they learned about this. But you also have like a software system that also does. Yeah, we can uh, actually create a three D image of the the home. That's amazing. So nice. I heard that one of our TV commercials says, "Oh, our, you know, you know, roof roof technology." So I had a homeowner screaming at me the other day. Your drone took a picture of the wrong house. <laughs> I'm like, no, sir. We have a demilitarized satellite that we use um, that we pay by data from, and we just, you know, the geo coordinates, like some science, right? Some algorithm. Yeah. That's how we get ours. Right. And we convert it to a PDF, and I'm like, no, it's not. That was your. That's your house. There's two other houses in the photo, but the one we used, and you can see it. He was all mad, and then we have a doorbell in our our commercial. Ding dong, and the guy opens up. Ninety nine dollars a month, right? Forever, I get complaints from homeowners. That doorbell wakes my kid up. That doorbell makes my Stop dogs it. bark and bark. So you know what I do now? I'm like, you know what, Mrs. Jones? I am so sorry. I've never heard that before. But I'm going to tell my producer to change the doorbell. They're like, oh, thank you. <laughs> you should hold up signs that say ding dong. Right? <laughs> With an arrow. <laughs> you got to be careful. You definitely got to be careful. So, all right. Well, Jared, yes, if someone wants the big project, they got to call you for next year. Yeah, especially... Uh, we. Like our pool process for doing yeah. swimming pools is unbelievable. It's beautiful. That being said, yeah, they're like an upside down room addition. They they permit like a like a dwelling. They they are not a right. landscape project. You got to do it right. We have absolutely the best pool team in Southeast Michigan. I know. No, I've Hands seen your down. work. The, the what was it, the Cluffs? You said yeah. Such nice people. What a great project. And you'll see the video we have it you know, right it's on. Amazing. Yeah, we're excited Anyways, about that. So, folks, freshcutlandscape.com, Jared Baumert, he's the designer. He'll come out himself. Um, you have a great team. Shout out to John Michaels. Jennifer. Uh, Jennifer's Jennifer. actually my designer. Okay. And Sales then uh, coordinator. The, the team that worked with us on the Manugian? Yes. The, what, Marco, Marco, Caesar, yes. all my guys. Yeah. Shout out to all of them. Thank you very much. No problem. Appreciate you coming on. we got to have you on again. You're great. Right now. I want both I, of you guys, right? You're the host with the most. I try. <laughs> Mike Beatty from Rapid Roofing. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Say hi to Bill. You got a home show, real quick. Uh, yeah, we're going to be at the uh, Plymouth Fall Festival next weekend. Is that outdoor? That is. Yes. Yeah, yeah. that's a okay. cool festival. Mm-hmm. Good for yeah. you. Yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. I think this is the fifth year in a row that we've done it, but uh, it's nice because we hey, do a lot of business in Plymouth. Yeah, you and do. we have a lot of homeowners, happy homeowners that come up and say hello. Very I'm few that egg the. Uh, when are you going to be there? <laughs> What's I'm going to come visit you guys. I won't be. I have the uh, Make a Wish. Uh, foundation hike in manistee next weekend okay and you guys also do a lot for vets yes yeah we've done uh roof giveaways we've done basement waterproofing projects for vets it's very important for us we uh that's one of our our soft spots and then also uh kids who have make a wish foundation and uh courageous kids awesome wow so good for you man that's um, cool both of you guys are great companies and i'm i'm proud to have you as part of higher done so i want to thank you both uh you guys are great and this is what we do at Higher Done. We promote the guys that lead in our industry. So 
If you're a homeowner looking for outdoor landscaping, outdoor living, or if you want a roof, you want anything around your house, give us a call, folks. HireItDone.com. You'll get contractors like Rapid Roofing. And thanks and to Hire It Done for providing such a great platform. For we real. Try. It, we try. It's, it's a great process. Well, folks, another great show. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. I'm grateful for that. It's a great Labor Day weekend. I can't wait. Get barbecuing, baby. Mm-hmm. Labor Day weekend. <laughs> Loving it. Arts, Beats, and Eats coming up, too. Yeah. All right, right, folks. Thank you. I'm Adam Helfman. You're listening to Hire It Done on 97.1 The Ticket.